Hi guys, welcome to another video by Blissful Techno Health. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to move your library folders off of your C drive onto a secondary hard drive, moving and migrating all the data with it and creating a new route for anything that you put in there from now on. Okay guys, it is now time for me to show you how to move your libraries into a new location. For example, if you have a smaller solid state hard drive for your main hard drive for your computer and you have a larger regular hard disk drive for all your data and whatnot, <coughs> excuse me, we're, I'm gonna show you how to reroute those libraries so that you can continue to move things into your libraries but it goes to that larger hard drive instead of your C drive. And we're not talking about just doing a copy and a paste and moving data over, we're talking about rerouting the information that you put into your libraries so that it stores it on that, that secondary hard drive. Now, my kids are playing in the background. I've asked them to be quiet, so hopefully there won't be any crazy noise. Um, they're playing some games. You might hear a little bit in the background, so try to ignore that. They're just having some fun. <clears throat> so, I hope this makes sense, what I described so far. We're gonna look into how to do this. So like I said, if you're running two hard drives, your solid state hard drive, let's say it's like a 256 gig hard drive, or maybe even a 500 gig, and you don't want to store all your videos and documents and music and pictures and whatnot on that hard drive because you want to run your main programs off that hard drive, you don't want to take up space on that smaller solid state disk drive, reserving it for those programs. So you can see here I've got a little um, computer I put together in a virtual box, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we go to this PC, and you can see here I've got two different hard disk drives. Now the sizes of these are both incredibly small, just because I made this virtual machine, so I could show you an example on how to do this. It's gonna be the exact same for you, but your hard drive sizes will be very different. <clears throat> so we can see up here we have our library folders. And our library folders are folders that consist of you know, documents, pictures, music, videos specifically those are the ones that are probably that you're going to want to move the most depending on where your data is being stored or what you're storing most of if you have a lot of videos obviously a lot of music obviously there are pictures etc so if we go to one of these library folders and I give it a right click this uh, here and you go to location Sorry, I'm, I was not thinking there very well. I was thinking of something else. Right click and properties, location. You can see right now it's storing it in the C drive. Okay, well we can go take a look there. So C drive, so let's go to our main, main drive here. In this case would be your solid state drive. And you go to users, go to your user profile. Mine's called Blissful. And you can see, oh, here's all the libraries and stuff. <coughs> So we can see that all of our videos are stored here that we were just looking at. So we're gonna go back to this PC and we're, we wanna move those off the C drive and have them be stored on this secondary hard drive. In your case, probably a one terabyte, two terabyte, maybe even bigger. So to do that, we go back to where we were at, properties, location, and we're gonna change this location. Now there's two ways. You can either type in the location here if you know how to type this in manually or you can click on the move button down here. And if we click on move, it's gonna bring up a, a little window where we can select a destination in this little file explorer. So now we can click on this PC, scroll down until we find that secondary hard drive. In this case, it's a D drive. Yours might be a D, it might be an E, or whatever it may be. In this case, it's my D. And I've already got some things created here because I was playing around earlier. It's been a while since I've done this. So I had to refresh my memory. And <laughs> don't mind this beans and rice folder. So we're going to go into here. Let's delete this because this is from a prior virtual machine. And I've already got a folder created. As you can see under here, libraries. Let's say I don't have that. And you have just a blank drive here. You can go ahead and create a new folder and call it whatever you want. I mean, it makes sense to me to call it libraries because that's where we're going to put our libraries. Okay. And then this is videos, so we could call 
another vi another folder videos on top of that select that videos folder and make sure we select it down here on the bottom and now it's going to move all these to libraries videos on our d drive see how we did that now it's very important to make sure that you're putting them in exactly in a location just like this in fact i would recommend following exactly like i am doing because if you don't things can get goofed up so let's be sure to put it in its secondary folder if we're going to be sharing the libraries folder with other libraries we want to have them separated so this will do that once you have this created here you just hit OK or apply sorry hit apply and it's gonna ask us do you want to move all the files from the old location to the new location old location you can see where it was before new location you can see it's here that we created that D libraries videos and we're gonna click yes and then OK now anything that was stored in that videos folder is now moved into the new location and I can go here now and see libraries and videos ta-da there's a new folder okay there's nothing in it right now because I had nothing in there so what if there's something in there let me show you that so let's say we have documents I'm gonna open this and we're gonna create a little file a little text file we we'll to call it a text document and let's just call it test document okay let's give it a little bit of something something okay so I saved that now we're gonna go ahead and move documents and do the same thing so follow along documents properties location we can see it's still on the C drive. We're gonna move that. We're gonna do just like we did before. We're gonna to go to this PC, scroll down, go to our secondary hard drive, libraries. We're gonna create the new folder. Very important to create this folder. We're gonna call it documents. Okay. We're going to go in the documents by double clicking it. We're going to hit select folder. It's selecting that. And you can see now it's selected here just like we did the other one. We're going to hit apply. Yes. Okay. Now, if I go to that same D drive, I go to libraries. There's my documents. And look at that. My test document that I created that was on the C drive before is now on the secondary hard drive. So it moves the data over. You're going to want to go ahead and do this exactly like I showed you for all of your libraries. So next we could do music, properties, location, move, this PC, which one do I do, music? Yeah, music, okay. We're going to scroll down. new folder music select that folder to become the new folder and we are going to apply yes okay and now you can see there's music and like I said anything that was in there will move with it so if you have a lot of information in there it may take some time mine's really fast because I have nothing in there it's just boom instant but if you have, you know, 100 gigs worth of data and you tell it to apply, it's going to take a little while. It's going to have to move all that data. So you will have a lag time there. It's, your computer's not freezing up. It's just moving everything, okay? <clears throat> and like I said, very important that you create it exactly as I showed you. Very important. You have them separated by creating the new, new folder name. Okay, if you don't, it's gonna mix everything up and can goof things up. 
So if you're uncomfortable doing this, find someone who is a professional to do it for you. If you follow my directions exactly like I did it, now your drive letter might be different, <clears throat> your hard drive sizes are gonna be different, but if you do this concept exactly like I showed you by creating the folders, then it will work out perfectly. Supposed to anyway. <laughs> With computers when I did a lot of IT work, I used to always say theoretically, because <laughs> computers sometimes are temperamental and they do their own thing. But that's it. That's how you move your libraries off of your small solid state hard drive onto your secondary hard drive. And the nice thing about this is you can add a hard drive at any time. If you've been running a small hard drive and you just added your bigger hard drive, now you can move a lot of data over and free up that space on your C drive for programs. If you guys have any questions, please shoot me a comment down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in learning more about how to do things on your computer and other things. Sometimes I come up with other videos just because I like to upload videos sometimes. Anyways, thanks guys. Peace out.